football is the greatest drama on earth. This is our stage, our theater. I was born into it, others were adopted, but we're all connected. If you don't believe we're family, you haven't felt what we felt. Agony, tension, heartbreak. But that moment, when it comes together just right, words cannot describe. Okay, FIFA 15, what are you guys showing at E3 here? Now we've got our brand new game out here. We're, we're focusing around four pillars today, and we're, we're talking about what we've done in terms of visuals, the graphical presentation of the game, and the environment that, that you're going to be playing in. We're also talking a lot about the emotional intelligence that we're putting into the game this year, some big leaps and some revolution, revolutionary technology that we're putting in terms of how we model the emotions of the players on the pitch and how we tell the story of emotion throughout the match. Uh, we've got a lot of work done this year on player control, so this is focusing around the agility and the control, the, how players take the ball down, how they dribble it, um, how they actually run off the ball, and, and really a focus around responsiveness is our real main uh, focus around uh, player control. And the last piece of the puzzle that we're talking about today is intelligence. So all of the things that are going into the AI opponent that you're playing against, the positioning opponents around you, and, and how the players behave on the pitch. Okay, let's talk about that emotional connection then, because that's the first thing people are going to notice. That's the real big difference, first thing, when you see it on screen. You guys have sort of said, you guys knew the next-gen machines were coming, so this is the sort of thing you concentrate on about what that would offer you. So what, what, what sort of does it offer? Well, obviously, with the, the power of these new machines, we're, we're trying to take advantage of For the first time we're ever, first time ever, we're modeling the emotional intelligence, the emotional attitudes and, and opinions of players on the pitch for all 22 guys on the pitch towards all other players on the pitch. So so we're storing information on them throughout the game so they have a memory of what's happening uh, throughout the match. So for instance, if you come by and you tackle me poorly from behind, yeah. I might get frustrated with you in, in the first, second minute of the match. You do it again in the 30th, the 60th minute of the match, if, if I didn't have this memory, this emotional intelligence, I would re react the exact same way, which is what we used to do in the game. Now that we're modeling that behavior, I'll have a memory, and I'll be actually quite upset with you because now you're hounding me and you're getting under my skin and you're really agitating me, and, and I'll, I'll develop an attitude towards you of, 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 of dislike. And um, that will play out in terms of the reactions and the animations that I'm playing in the game, um, but it also will have effect uh, on the ability uh, uh, for, for how I respond to, to other events that happen in the game. So it's really modeling the temperature of every single player on the pitch and how they're going to respond and react to really bring you and draw you and create that connection between you and the game that's going on the same way that you have that emotional connection when you're supporting your team at the weekend and, and, and something significant happens. Are you saying that with, with players on the pitch react in situations on the pitches? Are you doing that, uh, are you looking at individuals per se or is it more like a sort of general sort of where a few things happening on the pitch so players will react to it? Are you trying to represent the actual personalities as well. So yes, there's going to be components of personalities, of, of real-world context, everything that's happening on the pitch we're trying to take into account. So all players will react to every single element that does happen. And that's, I, I gave you the tackling example as one, goals is obviously another one, but even something as simple as a pass from a teammate. If it's a good pass, I'll remember that. And throughout the match, uh, my attitude towards you, ever so slightly, maybe not enough to make a difference, but but all of the little bits add up. And now a player that's more animated and, and more, um, uh, Explosive, explosive issue, if you will, uh, will react a, a little bit more over the top than maybe a more subdued player. So there is that personality element that will come in, but it's, by and large is based on all of the events and really the story that is unfolding throughout the match. And we want to be able to communicate that story back to you as you play it and experience it. I say, and the pitch itself, I mean, it looks fantastic, I have to say, but you, doing that sort of real-time deformation on the pitch, I mean, is that something that you guys went, next gen machine, finally we can do this. Now we can wipe that off the whiteboard of things we'd wish to do if we only had the tech for it. I think you hit the nail on the head. We've always wanted to do better things with, with the grass and, and not just the grass, the environment. So you'd see the digital ad boards and, and having those, those videos loops playing on the ad boards, things that are real to the real world of football. The, the pitch wear specifically is a big one for me as a gameplay producer because you see it from the, the telecam when you're playing all the time and it really grounds the players and makes the game feel a 
lot more like real football. And seeing that pitch where it gives you those frames of reference and really, really suspends the disbelief. And, and, and I think that's what we're always trying to go for. Like you said, now that we have that ability, the processing, processing power to bring that to the consoles, we, we were jumping all over it. Is there, is there a different feel if you go over a particular part of the pitch that say the turf's being ripped up? I mean, will that play any context in terms of the ball control or anything? So right now, uh, the ball doesn't react to divots. We don't have many divots and we wanted to keep it uh, very surface level for yeah. this year. It's something we'll be considering for the future for sure. Um, but what you do see is is marks for players when they slide tackle. You'll see uh, the pitch tearing uh, or, or streaking, if you will, when they slide tackle. In muddy conditions, players when they plant hard or when they go down for a slide tackle, you'll see some of that dirt exposed. And you'll even see some of the kits start to get dirty uh, for players that go down and do and do interact with the pitch. So the whole the whole idea is to immerse you entirely in in the emotion of the of the sport and and try and get as real in terms of authenticity to, to keep you there throughout the match. And, and that's what all these little pieces of the puzzle are, are built to do. What's the roadmap for you guys? You, cut, you finish up this week. What's next couple of weeks, next month, next two months? What are you guys concentrating on? Yeah, uh, we, I mean, we're back at it. We're, I, mean, I should say back at it for me. You guys are still at the office slaving away, doing the job. And, and You're getting it easy here, yeah, right? I get to come here and do all the fun stuff. Um, well, it's all fun, but... Yeah, yeah. Boys at the office are, are working hard to, to really uh, uh, iterate on the game and, and add those finishing touches in terms of uh, feature development and then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get into the final stages. I think we're probably we're somewhere around 60%, if you could put a number on it, uh, way through the project. So we're really happy with the way the game's playing right now. Obviously, being able to be here at E3 and let everybody just walk up and take their hands and, and feel the game, uh, uh, that's, we're something really proud about. So you know, we got, we got a long road left of us. Everybody usually knows when the game comes out, so we're going to be Full steam ahead, pedal to the metal to make it the best possible game we can. We think we're really onto something special this year. Excellent. Thank you very much. I'll leave you back to it. Thank you very much. Thank you. FIFA 15. Feel the game.